the concealer ooh i'm not liking it oh my god hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is sarah and on my channel i do beauty related videos for today's video i am trying out a few bh cosmetics products not too many products we're gonna keep this um video well i'm gonna try to keep this simple and short for you guys so yeah if you want to see how i got this look then please stay and watch also my nails i haven't done my nails i'm so sorry I am using the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer to clean up my brows. And then I'm using the BH Cosmetics Express, and this is number 7. By the way, what shade am I in? I think 102. I actually like the packaging. It's like black, and then it's like a gradient. So I kind of like that about it. Oh, I think this might match let's see how this does when i prime my eyelids with it so because sometimes i use concealer to prime my eyelids so i'm gonna put this all over my eye i'm just gonna go ahead and do this to my other eye and then i'll be back to apply eyeshadow with you guys see what am i going in with sugar plum oh that's actually really cute i think i'm doing a regular crease today this has amazing pigment but I wonder if it's gonna blend out exactly like I want it to. You know, sometimes it has like the pigment, like the pigment's there, but like when you go to blend it, it just like doesn't wanna move and you're like, oh no, it's gonna look so patchy. So I hopefully that's not the case for this, but yeah, the color is so beautiful and it goes on so nicely. Okay, I'm gonna take like a blending brush. Which one should I use? I feel like I wanna use this one. This one is uh, number 10, the number 10. <laughs> this is number 10. So I'm gonna go in with this one and with no product, I'm just gonna blend out this plum shade. Already, I like, I was gonna put a transition shade, but I don't even think I need it. I'm gonna use the concealer. And I'm using the same uh, flat brush that we had, which is kind of big, kind of thick. I don't know how it's gonna do. I struggled with applying this all over my lid and blending it out. It's like, I can apply it and all, but blending it out was a little bit harsh with this. I don't know why. Okay, hopefully I get the same thing for the other eye because I feel like I didn't really cut this all the way up. I'm gonna apply the color that I wanted right here. I don't have, oh my God, I don't have a flat brush. <sighs> I'm gonna use the same concealer brush. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Santa Baby. So I'm adding ornaments, which is this light pink and it's just oh, so pretty. I'm using the same brush just because it's the only flat brush I have. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna add a Santa Baby right to the rest of like the under, like, what is this called? Lash line? <laughs> the bottom lash line. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with this fluffy brush and then just mixing those two together like so. I'm gonna go in with an uh, even lighter shade, which is called Snow Day. And I'm gonna be picking up <laughs> this cute little brush i'm like i know what this is for this is for here for here or it's for here this is number 12. let's see <gasps> oh my god i knew that's what it was for i feel like do i get more pigmentation using this let's see oh yeah you know you know what the other one for like a subtle little highlight i feel like it works for the brow bone oh snow day is beaming like okay we see you snow day okay guys so i have my other eye done so now we're just gonna well not done because i need to do eyeliner and mascara and all that but on camera i'm gonna be using the bh cosmetics liquid foundation and i'm gonna be using the concealer so i'm gonna be using this for concealer and then this for my foundation what shade am i in i am in fair golden so 205 fair golden is the one that i'm gonna be using so i'm just gonna be grabbing off of here and then just patting this around first is this like my skin tone so it's like disappearing so i like don't see it because i see it covering this would make it i guess two pumps and a half if i use all this so let me just I just don't know how I feel about it. This feels like a BB cream in a way, but like with more coverage. We have a problem, but this could just be like a skin problem. Because I am very dry, but like right here around my nose, it's like grabbing onto dry patches. So now let's try the foundation. I mean the foundation. 
the concealer and i did mention before i am i am 102 okay so i'm kind of scared about it and i did say i was going to use this little brush right here this is a little bit lighter maybe a little too light i mean in a way it's good for brightening i guess i like this brush for applying concealer it's a very flat brush i feel like this could also work for like contour like just going like like that you know what i mean let me go ahead and blend it with the big brush with my foundation brush i switched to my elf makeup sponge at a moment there i had to take off all my makeup and i, I just think it was just um this big one that really messed me up because it was really taking off my foundation um yeah it did not mix well and it was it put on the powder very like splotchy Moving on, I am taking this brush, which is um, number three, and it looks like I would normally use this for contour, but like I want to use it for blush because you can just go like that, like it has the perfect shape to apply blush. And I am taking the Vanilla Strawberry Truffle. This is the little four color blush palette. Oh, so cute. I'm going to mix these two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this shade. It's kind of like a peachy or orange shade. I'm just going to... Ooh. Okay, so that is the peachy orange one. Shows very well. And then I'm going to go in with this pink one on the other side. So this one, um, you have to build up a little bit. The other one was a little bit more pigmented, but it did um, have a little bit more like kickback. Okay, so now I'm going to mix them <laughs> because I can't be with like two different blushes, you know. Top, it kind of intensified the fact that you can see a little bit of my skin peeking through underneath. Mm. My nose, like I always do. Oh, but this smells so good. Oh my god. And then a little bit on my chin. So I'm going to do my eyeliner with you guys. Oh my god, can you open? <laughs> guys, like, I really can't open this. Oh, got it. I think I should do a wing just because I'm testing out this eyeliner. I did kind of want to like stop like right here and then add lashes. But because I'm testing it out, I'm going to do a wing. I mean, it looks actually, it looks really black right now and all that. But I worked really quick because it dries down super quick. And that means that like if you want to go back and retouch up, you have the chances of like your liner lifting. It's already like jumbling up like it's getting a little patchy <sighs> and i still haven't done my wing oh my god it's already coming off here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna see if i can flip the tip so i got my tweezers i mean it looks beautiful but like it dries up really quickly and okay so there's ink in there i didn't think this through okay so i'm gonna Okay. okay okay it's starting to work i'm gonna go over this just a little bit to make it a little bit more black so i finally applied my lashes and everything and we are done this is the final look now because i redid my uh makeup a little bit of my eyebrow kind of came off um but i don't think they look that bad so i decided to leave them alone i would have to say the palette oh my god it's so good i love it it's so creamy so nice the brushes i still have to like reuse them and see what i like them with some of the brushes i did really like and some of the brushes i didn't even use so i think my favorite brushes were um the eye brushes and then the concealer well i don't know if this is meant for concealer but i love it for concealer i feel like it blended it out actually quite nice i feel like this one is really unnecessary but i did like it because it's just meant for like right here and i was like um yeah i like that <laughs> like i don't really need it but i like that oh the one i use for bronzer i feel like that one's really nice too this one right here the blush one was okay it's your regular you know angle brush so it works very fine and they're very soft the foundation feels like a bb cream but you can actually build it up and i feel like it's my exact shade it's like i'm so and so on it like it, i like it but it's definitely not like full coverage and you have to work it up for medium coverage and you can still see a little bit of my imperfections underneath my skin the concealer i mean it was okay 
like i feel like i don't really like how it looks underneath my eyes it's a little too drying and you can really see my like my under eyes creasing but i will use again i just probably won't repurchase it's not really like it has really good coverage i guess but it's just not for me it's a little too dry for me it's kind of like the elf concealer but the elf one oh there we go the camel elf concealer that's what it reminds me of but i for some reason prefer the camel concealer <laughs> i don't know why it's not like bad it's just i don't really like the creases underneath my eyes and i feel like i get the same result with uh the elf one you all know i loved the vanilla strawberry truffle palette so that's on that i enjoy that so much i love blush it's so pretty and it smells quite amazing um yeah i, I really don't like the bh eyeliner it's just like it started to lift right here when i was putting on my mascara it was like a little piece right here was like lifting and i don't know if you can see it sorry it's because the laundry okay anyways so i guess that is all for this video thank you guys so much for watching please remember to like comment down below and subscribe bye <laughs> the concealer Ooh, i'm not liking it oh my god